Hey everyone, John from Nintendo Life here, and today we're reviewing Pac-Man 99 for Nintendo Switch. This review was originally written by John Cartwright, that's me, and was adapted to video by me. So without further ado, wacka wacka wacka. The crusade to make all of gaming's tentpole titles into battle royales continues, and following Tetris and Super Mario Bros., what classic game is more iconic than Pac-Man? What makes the 99 series ingenious is it takes the foundation of games that have proven their timelessness over the decades, and instead of disrupting their flow by changing what worked, it simply sprinkles on some modern layers of its own. Vanilla Pac-Man is already one of the most addictive games out there, but when you introduce a fast-paced competitive component, that feeling of just one more game is heightened exponentially. This 41-year-old classic has simply never been this hard to put down, and even with everything it adds, at its core, it's still just Pac-Man. That speaks volumes for how well the original holds up. So how exactly did they make Pac-Man a 99-player game? Well, much like its predecessors in the 99 series, everyone is playing on their own isolated screen, but what you do can impact and hinder the other 98 players. Using the right stick, you can target an opponent or protect yourself against incoming ghosts, and every single time you swallow a ghost on your screen, it sends a little ghostly Pac-Man to theirs. These aren't as deadly as Goombas or Koopas in Mario 35, but running into them temporarily slows your Pac-Man down, and if your screen is full of them, the four iconic ghosts have a major advantage against you. But you can amplify the carnage with a new pickup that multiplies the ghosts during the vulnerability phase, giving you a similar all-you-can-eat ghost buffet to that found in Pac-Man Championship Edition. This all sounds pretty simple so far, right? Well, Pac-Man 99 has a couple more extra layers, and it doesn't exactly explain… well, any of them. For instance, in addition to being able to target other players, there's actually a secondary wheel that changes how power pellets operate. If you select the stronger option before picking up a pellet, you'll notice that ghosts only become vulnerable for 4 seconds, but if you manage to catch any of them in that time, you'll deal far more damage to your opponent than usual. It's tricky to balance both the targeting system and the power pellet system all while playing a fast-paced game of Pac-Man, and in this respect, Pac-Man 99 isn't exactly as instantly intuitive as previous entries. That's not to say that understanding these mechanics is essential to victory, but those who master them will surely have the upper hand, especially as the average skill level of the player base goes up over time. It may not be instantly understandable, but once this game clicks, it becomes something special. There are so many play styles and options to take. Picking up a chunk of regular pellets spawns a fruit in the middle of the screen, and when you collect this, all other pickups respawn. But if you ignore it, you can whack a wacky your way around the board like a regular game of Pac-Man, you'll get a permanent speed boost for eating every pellet. So do you use your time to boost your stats, or do you use that time to chomp down as many ghosts as possible? Maybe you sit in a corner and try and waste as much time as you can. We found ourselves adapting and improvising more than we have in any other Pac-Man game in our lives. It's simply exhilarating. In terms of pacing, this is by far the most pick-up-and-play 99 title yet. Winning our first game barely took 5 minutes, and we've taken the first place spot in as short as 4. Not only does this make Pac-Man 99 the perfect game to play in short bursts, but it makes it incredibly hard to stop playing. If you start a game and come 50th? Eh, that one doesn't count. Try again. Top 10? Nearly made it. Try again. First place? Let's go again, baby. If anything, we feel the need to warn you that this game can kill your productivity. I might be playing the game right now. Tetris 99 is likewise one of our Switch favourites, but it didn't launch in such a robust state. Thankfully, Pac-Man 99 debuts with many of the features that Tetris fans had to wait months for, though much of it is paid DLC. It's hard to feel too aggravated when the core mode that matters is free, with quotations, but if you want to play with a Dig Dug or Galaga theme, then be ready to shed out real-world money. It's certainly not as offensive as other free-to-play games, and these skins are legitimately great with far more dynamic elements than those found in Tetris, but not a single one cost a penny in that game. Offline modes are also behind a paywall, much like in Tetris, and importantly, one of these modes preserves the core Pac-Man 99 gameplay in an offline state against bots. You may wonder why that's so important. Well, it assures this gameplay style will never be lost to time, unlike the dearly departed Super Mario Bros. 35. The servers inevitably turn off for every online game, but 40 years from now, we'll still be able to enjoy Pac-Man 99, even if it's just against bots. There's also a simple score in Time Attack single-player variants, adding a teeny bit more value, though they certainly aren't the main attraction. 
Pac-Man 99 is certainly more money-hungry than previous iterations, but the core 99 mode plays the same regardless if you open your wallet or not. Almost everything else is just extra dressing. Almost. In Tetris 99, you and a friend could share a password to assure you're matched in the same game, and thankfully Pac-Man adopts a very similar feature with completely private lobbies with friends. But only if those friends buy the DLC bundle. We can get behind other monetized components, but this one's a step too far, and it limits what has the potential to be a remarkable community feature. Even with a few bumps surrounding the package, it's hard to be upset when the core game is as good as it is and is essentially free, again with quotations. This is gaming in its purest form. Each match starts great and simply gets better the longer it runs. Pac-Man can't be bogged down with pacing issues and downtime because it's Pac-Man. Developer Arika has taken more of the most addictive, polished, and timeless games of all time and somehow made it better than it's ever been before. Pac-Man 99 may seem initially daunting with mechanics it simply doesn't explain, but once you experiment and learn by fire, it won't take long to realize its true potential. Arika and Bandai Namco have barely touched the formula of this 41-year-old classic, and yet with just a few new layers, it feels like a brand new game. We've invested more time than we care to admit in the 99 entries, and it's clear that Pac-Man 99 is destined for evergreen greatness. We here at Nintendo Life give Pac-Man 99 a 99 out of 10. Some might just call it a 9. So 9 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching, and for a lot more Switch reviews, check out NintendoLife.com, and be sure to go to that subscribe button, and then get those little ghost icon things and munch it up 98 billion times, and we'll see you next time. Bye everyone.